Hello everyone, welcome to another Excel chat video walkthrough. I'm your host, Kevin Kelly, and today we're going to be talking about using count if and how to use that to count up a number of cells within a specified region based on some parameters. Very simple, very to the point. It sounds complicated, but it's not. Let's get right into it. So as you can see, I have my Excel chat article open here, and we have a list of names with some test scores that these kids scored on a test. It didn't look like Ad Ad Adilson did too well, neither did Daniel, but Regardless, we'll count this up. So we're going to be using the count if formula, and I'm just going to go into this cell here. I'm going to type in equals count if parentheses, and now I'm going to select my region. Comma. Now I'm putting in quotation marks. Okay, I want you to count everything that's greater than 80, and that's what I'm putting in the quotation marks now. Enter. Okay, as you can see, it popped out three. Why? Because we have one, two three test scores that were greater than 80. No simpler than that. It doesn't get easier than that, okay? Now, there's a way to do this, though, where you reference a cell with a specified number, so it's a little bit easier. You can adjust the cell, so like, maybe I want 80 now, but I want to count 60 in two minutes, right? So the way that we would do that, you just scroll down over here, is that I have to reference this cell, but you have to put an ampersand on the formula. So here's how you do it. You go in here, what you're actually going to do is do okay, still greater than, but guess what? Now we're going to do ampersand e3 is referencing this cell. We're going to hit enter and we'll put the 80 here. As you can see, it has popped up three again. Now let's say we want to do 70. Now it's popped up five. Now let's say we want to do 60. Now it's seven. And it's as simple as that. You just pipe it, uh, just punch in the formula and it will give you the number of cells that equal that specified uh, limitations that you put in the formula. So super easy to the point, use count if to count up a bunch of cells that are relative to the parameters that you have set and it will do that for you. And then you can use cell referencing as well. Still have questions? Click to get help from a live Excel expert at Excel Chat.